Hi, this is Russ McClay. And this is a little introduction and a promotion and hello about a very cool site I found some time ago. And I've been, last few days, I've thought, man, I really should uh, you know, make this little introduction to this site um, and show how cool it is because it is truly a cool site. What this is, is it shows uh, all the aircraft real time in the world not all the aircraft but all the major commercial airliners uh, in the world and it is so cleverly programmed and so I'm going to give you a quick kind of overview of how cool this program is the reason I got into this by the way is because I with uh, looking out my window over the north of Taiwan which this map is basically looking at uh, I would see aircraft coming over and I go, oh, I wonder where that plane's going or that. So I found this site. Now I can find out. So first of all, the site again is Flight Radar 24. And we'll just go through it pretty briskly. Apps. It has a number of apps that you can install that will do this. Add coverage. I'm not even sure what all these things do. Uh, data history, airline fleet, I mean you can explore these at will. Social, pretty obvious what these kind of things are. Press, okay. About, yes, how it works, FAQ. I mean this is really, it's a whole like world. And then we get over here, we have premium. Um, we have settings here, we have uh, some basic parameters you can set up, layers, units, visibility, filters, wow, you know, UTC, universal time there. Uh, we have this and I assume this is for doing recording and you can do time lapse and whatnot. Uh, bookmarks, I haven't used any of this stuff. I just, this is straight out of the, you go to this URL and you're going to see what I'm seeing. Okay. Now, the reason I really want to do this, here we are at two and a half minutes trying to do a pretty quick view of this. This view is, <coughs> the topography is based with, uh, based on uh, Google Earth data, which you can see down here. And then of course what's so interesting is you see these planes now that's the whole point of this the last bit I'll show here is uh, there are a list of I'm actually I'm not sure what this is there's 18 of 13 000, I'm gonna assume that there are 18 of these planes in this view of 13,000 total that it's tracking <coughs> and uh, there's airport delays there are a little tweet section and you can see some social media stuff here but what's cool really cool about this program uh, there's so much is that for instance this aircraft here is coming directly in I I'm somewhere in here in this Taipei area and this aircraft is coming straight in and I assume that the size that it relates to the size of the aircraft and I'm going to click on it. Oh, look at that. Made a little abrupt turn there. So, click. And wow. Okay. Um, we see this is EVA 68. We see that this, this aircraft is going from Bangkok to Taipei. Well, that's pretty unusual. How did it do that? Looks like it's going the wrong direction it looks like it's heading south and it's coming from Bangkok it is from south but we'll look at that in a second okay cool this line here shows the total kilometers left of its journey so it already has a calculated journey it has the flight number uh, the aircraft of course a photo of it it has the uh, the basic scheduled times estimated time of arrival it has what kind of craft it is serial number has a registration number has the current altitude 
it has the vertical speed, the speed, the track, the latitude, longitude, radar, blah. I mean, all of this is just incredible. And that was simply by clicking on this aircraft. And it's obviously it's coming into Taoyuan Airport, uh, which is here. You can see a lot of planes. This is Taiwan's main international airport. So very cool. This is, uh, you mouse over, you can see it's in feet, and then it shows in meters. And again, it's real time, and I've done some playing around with it, and it's really close to absolute real time. Now, let's look at this craft. I said it was coming in from Bangkok, which is strange, because Bangkok is to the south, and yet this plane looks like it's coming in from the north. Let's back out a little bit, and look at that. There you go. You can see that this aircraft, uh, if we go out further, and I'm just, I use the mouse wheel to do that. Go out a little further here. And you can see this course that this particular plane took out of Bangkok. And of course, now you're, you're starting to see how incredibly cool this program is. So there we can see out of Bangkok uh, where that flight originated. Now, I mean, it, it is just, the amount of calculations and what's going on here is just it's so much fun and I, I really wanted to share it uh, to anybody who uh, doesn't know about it or if you knew about it and forgot about it then then you, you know you can check it out again and there's that flight you know coming in out of Bangkok you know now one of the things that's kind of disappointing is that there used to be a 3d where you could look out the cockpit of the craft and it says download this Google Earth plugin. Unfortunately, that does not seem to be working right now, either in Chrome or Firefox or anything else, but it, maybe it will in the future. And uh, we can show the route. There's the route, the entire route. That was a nice, nice little feature. And uh, this is, you can follow the aircraft so that the landscape moves with it. Uh, so it, it's just, it's, you know, this view, what we've looked at here in my little overwinded seven minute intro, uh, you know, this is all the free stuff. And here, let's pick another, let's pick another craft. This one, EVA 185. Where is it going? Oh, it's going from Naha to Taipei. Yes, 11,000 feet. Where's Naha? Let's back off a little bit. Aha! Naha! Aha! Naha! <laughs> is in Japan. Now, what's cool about that is, frankly, I didn't know there were direct flights to Naha. Might be a nice place to go check out sometime. Naha, Japan. And you can see a lot of activity here. And now, uh, to conclude this introduction to Flight Radar 24. I'm going to back way off. And of course, you know, your CPU is going to be chewing if you're going to open up this much data. We'll just kind of just back off on the world here and see what's going on. You know, I'm really taxing uh, the system here to do this. Well, that's pretty much, uh, <laughs> you know, if th this this site, uh, if you have curiosity about planes and what's going on, um, this will keep you busy for a while, I think. So, you know, go check it out. Go to flightradar24.com and go um, have a gander if you're into uh, aircraft and flights and all that. And you'll be more of an expert than I am in no time. This is Russ McClay sharing um, a rare bit of internet wonderfulness after a couple of brewskis.